So, you want to be a dental assistant, huh? Well, let's go. Hello, welcome to Dental Things. Today we're going to be going over the most basic of dental things, anticipation. The biggest hurdle that plagues the dental people in the youth of their career. After so long though, you'll be sitting there thinking the most important questions. What comes next? What would I use if I was doing this myself? The world would be a better place if they stopped putting pineapple on pizza. Well, at least we can tackle two of these things. Now I know what most of you will be thinking, especially if you're seasoned. But Miller, my doc uses a 14L carver. My doc doesn't do silver fillings. My doctor only uses their thumb to condense. But hold on, this is an exercise in forward thinking. And also, those of you that are doing thumbprint fillings, well, I'm watching you. So, watch the scenario. You'll be asked to select the next instrument that will bring you to the next step of the procedure. If you're right, it'll go along just fine. If you're wrong though, it'll let you know that you'll have to try again. Get it? Got it? Good. Let's roll the clips and hope to see you at the end. All right, so Doc's ready to look at the tooth. Let's get the mirror and explore, and... All right, that's a good start. Doc took the instruments on a roll here now. Now let's go and pay attention to see what's gonna be coming next. Doctor's starting on the lower right, so let's get my suction in there and get taking this cavity out. Pretty good. Doctor's done drilling, so I guess it's time to go and rinse out. Get all those little bits in the back on both corners. Spray the tooth real good. Now this is the very beginning. Doctor said that we need to wrap this tooth so that the filling doesn't fall out the sides. I guess with this next step, if we pack any filling in there, it's gonna fall out the side of the tooth. So what are we gonna do to contain it in there? What instrument can I use? What comes next? <laughs> 